Second match, uh, Intercontinental Champion uh, Randy Savage oh, pins George Steele. Oh, God. With both feet on the ropes for yeah, leverage. That classic. Let's just skip that Matt classic. Um, I, th I mean, George probably would have even admitted, and maybe has on camera, that it was, you know, it was the, he was late in the run. You know. Another rumored match that never happens, did you ever hear, was supposed to be Bruno San Martino versus Jesse Ventura. I never heard that. Okay. Well, would you hold it in an iron lung? <laughs> Jesse was horrible in the ring. I mean, he looked great. He had great physical presence. But Jesse was bad. <laughs> That's a Chief J, right? The iron What's that? Lung. Chief J was the iron lung guy, right? Didn't he used to say that to everybody? Every oh, joke was an know. iron lung. Oh, I thought that's what Waltman had told no. us that. Who said that? Chief J used to just throw out the iron lung reference every oh, once I in a while. Nice much to, to everybody. You'd have to confused. hold that match in an iron lung. Um, okay. Gene Okerlund conducts an interview with uh, Bill Fralick and Big John Studd coming from Chicago. Uh, this is teasing the upcoming 20-man battle royal uh, with uh, football players. Um, William Perry is the star among that, that group of football players, the fridge that was uh, coming in to do the Battle Royal. Um, what did you think of him? Did you have any interaction with William Perry? No. This guy I knew in Atlantic City worked at a casino. He was trying to set up some kind of competition with me and him, like, like non-athletic things, like miniature golf. And, and I don't know how far he got with it, but he talked to me about it a lot of times. He said he could definitely get William the refrigerator. And I don't know if there'd be any you know, potential there, King Kong Bundy versus a refrigerator. This is now? No, no, no. Oh, Back oh, then, oh. back in the day. Okay. Now, yeah, but I never, nothing ever came of it.